Outdoor Ed Lafayette students. Um, I'm going to kind of talk you through, I'm not going to show you the whole process, but um, talk you through the gutting of a deer. You can see the wound here. Um, I was a little higher and a little further back than I'd like to be, but it was kind of long. So, And if you tip a deer up on its back, you're probably going to need a friend, this is my dad, to, uh, you're going to need a friend to help you hold him in place. But you're going to find the breastbone, and right at the base of the breastbone, you're going to find where it ends, and that's where you're going to start your incision with your knife and you're gonna very gently, so that you don't pierce the stomach, work your way down and open up the stomach cavity so that then you can work everything out. After you've got them open, you have to reach up inside of the throat and feel for the windpipe and pull it down. And very carefully, so that you don't cut yourself, reach up with your other hand with your knife and cut the windpipe. Then you're gonna to go to the other end you're going to ream out the rectum, and same thing, that's going to come out, and everything should spill out of the stomach cavity at that point. If you've got the windpipe and the rectum and everything and all the intestinal tract uh, removed, and then everything should spill out nicely. But you're, again, you're going to go to the bottom of the breastbone, find where that breastbone ends, and right here where my finger is and my thumb is where I'm going to start my incision open up his stomach, and get to work. Okay, so I got him open. I found the windpipe and pulled that through. And I reamed out his rectum and pulled that back through. Now, the important thing about that is if you nick the bladder at all, which I didn't on this one, and or sometimes when you grab that rectum through, some poop does come out on the inside. So when you're all done with this, you want to not only obviously, I, I stopped here so that you could see how the guts would come out of the um, cavity, but what's important is when you are all done and this cavity is completely gutted out, you want to take a spigot of a hose and just completely, very thoroughly rinse out the entire inside body cavity, um, have it flowing out of the rectum so that all of it can flow through and uh, you won't taint any of your meat and then get it to a butcher or cut it up yourself as soon as possible.